A warm welcome to all TVET lecturers. I am Gan Krishna from Macmillan, and I'm going to tell you about all the recent updates to the old 1996 Financial Management Farming N5 curriculum. The updated curriculum will be implemented in July 2023. Lecturers and students will need the latest textbooks. We recommend TVET First's excellent financial management Farming N5 Students Book, Students Workbook, and Lecturer's Guide, which have been approved by the DHET. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2023, tells you that this book covers the 2023 curriculum in full. Later in this video, I will show you how the TVET First textbooks will help you to implement the Revised Curriculum with ease. But now, let's focus on the curriculum itself. Yes, a few things are more or less the same. Let me start with those. Module 2 on the analysis and interpretation of financial statements remains similar except for three learning objectives relating to the farm balance sheet analysis and two learning objectives relating to the income statement analysis that have been made more specific. Module 4 in the new curriculum corresponds largely to Module 3 on Auxiliary Budgets in the old syllabus. There are two new learning objectives relating to the importance and different kinds of auxiliary budgets. In the 2023 curriculum, Modules 5 and 6 on the capital requirements and financial policy of a farming enterprise correspond to the former Modules 4 and 5. Yes, indeed. In Module 1 of the previous curriculum, the first four learning content units related to journals were moved to the new N4 syllabus. Journals are therefore no longer dealt with in the N5 course. In the 2023 curriculum, Module 1 now covers annual financial statements. There are five learning objectives on balance sheets and three on farming income statements. The remaining theme of bank reconciliation in the old Module 1 has been moved to Module 3. The new Module 3 now consists of two learning content units on cash books and three on bank reconciliations. The learning content units relating to the cash book come from the old Module 3 in the N5 syllabus. The second learning content unit relating to bank reconciliation comes from the old Module 1 in the N5 syllabus. This last outcome in Module 3 states that students should be able to record and reconcile entries in the cash book, draw up a bank reconciliation statement, and then compare the statement with the balance in the cash book. The 2023 curriculum includes templates and formulas in the annexures. The accounting templates in the annexures ensure that the formats of the accounting books in our textbooks are standardized and in line with the syllabus. These templates are specified in the annexures. Annexure A is a balance sheet. Annexure B is an income statement. Annexure C is an analysis cash book. Annexure D is a bank reconciliation statement. Annex E is a partial budget for a certain project. Annex F is a projected cash flow budget of the farm. Annexes G and H are formula sheets for module two and three. Our TVET First textbook discusses each of these financial statements by giving a detailed example and explaining the concepts and processes involved. Yes, the TVET First course includes a workbook that is specifically designed to be used together with our student's book. The workbook provides space for all the answers in the student's book, and the correct accounting templates are provided. 
the curriculum weightings have changed. Note the differences in the table seen on your screen. The most notable change is for the new modules 5 and 6, which now account for only 5% each, down from 25 and 15% respectively. The 2023 curriculum sets out the requirements for evaluation and examination in much more detail. The semester mark has three components. There's a one-hour written test covering 50% of the syllabus and counting 70 marks. There is also an open book practical assignment of two to three working days, which covers 80% of the practical component of the syllabus and counts 100 marks. There is a two-hour internal examination that covers 80 to 100% of the syllabus and counts 130 marks. The final exam paper has a duration of three hours and consists of 200 marks. Together, the semester mark contributes 40% and the examination mark 60% to the promotion mark. Our TV at First Students book, workbook and lecturer's guide cover the curriculum thoroughly and well. They offer vital teaching assistance and extensive student support. The students book has plenty of activities to complete. The activities are realistic and relevant to financial management in the farming industry. They help students to understand, apply and remember their work. The student's book also has many helpful tables, definitions, exam tips and pictures. Each module includes a summary and a summative assessment, which students can use to review the content and revise for exams. The book concludes with a six-page, three-hour practice exam for 200 marks, which students are encouraged to try out as preparation for exams. The lecturer's guide contains detailed answers to all the activities, as well as the full memorandum of the practice exam. It also offers a suggested six-month teaching plan, an overview of the learning outcomes, and a lesson plan template to help you plan your lessons. TVET First textbooks are approved by the DHET and trusted by lecturers. For the best results, trust TVET first.